Hello everybody, welcome to AeroBB week 6 versus um, Osnoros with his in Insomniacs Undead. Um, he has got a sure hands gal, as the Irish would say. <laughs> and one reroll, flip me. Oh, 10 coach assistants. Somebody could have helped him make his team, couldn't they? And avoided this. <laughs> uh, I feel like that was a missed opportunity from the rest of the league to help him with that, but never mind. And, uh, yep, we've got an Edge 5, Dodger, more Dodgers, a Blocker, a Mighty Blow, three rerolls. So looking pretty great. Um, just need 110 to get the second Witch Elf and give a wrestle. And uh, stack SPPs on the uh, on the blitzers. Glorious. Yeah, so he's essentially he's 390 TV down, right? Because he's got 10 coach assistants. So he's, he's a lot of TV down. Flip me. And this, this is why the redraft's the thing, right? This is why redraft's the thing, yeah. And it's funny, it's funny all the people acting like it's because, you know, high TV is bad or, you know, it's to stop high TV or anything like this. And it, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It's just because with the leagues, you know, it, it, it's a way to stop runaways in leagues, basically. That's all it is. And it's good, like, it's a good idea because it, it, it's a problem that all specialist games have, like Necromunda and everything, you know. The best Necromunda player wins the most and gets more stuff. And then his gang's better and so he wins easier. Necromunda's the same. And then so you just get a bigger and bigger gap developing. And that kind of happens with Blood Bowl as well. So I'm, I'm quite okay with the... Uh, with the... Um, you know, stars being OP, if you like, because people need the stars to be OP. Because if they're at low, you know, lower TV, they need to catch up. Right? And you, you obviously kind of want to reward the people, but at the end of the day, it rewards people who are already winning more than anything. I don't know; it's weird. No, oh, he's got terrible, terrible inducements. <laughs> Good news for me, no wizard, no stars. Wonderful. No bribes, no whiz, no star. Beautiful, beautiful calls. Yeah, exactly. Like if if you you know if you're up enough TV that somebody can get Mog, they damn well need him at the end of the day. Do I kick and try and turn him over multiple times, or do I receive and Daka? I guess I can dacker with few players in the second half, so I should kick. I don't know what to do. I would rather have not won the toss, to be honest. I feel like I should be trying to win by quite a lot. <laughs> but then on the other hand... Um, I don't want the players to die, do I? Uh oh. Right, so, five SPP there. Three. And so he can do a pass on five. I guess he just wants to score and, and do passes to get. He wants to get the 16. Yeah, so it's this guy and this guy. And maybe this guy that need to get over. And there's one there's one here's on thirteen, so he he can try and go to sixteen. But mostly so mostly him and him. Him one. I guess it's too much to ask. He might get he might get a cheeky touchdown on it. But mostly it's uh it's gonna be on this guy and 
this guy. Uh, what? I mean, you can't just pause and not and just not say anything. <laughs> something in it. Okay, you can you can connect this you can select this players. Eliod, how many SPP did Eliod get? Sixteen. He's on ninety. And how many SPP am I on? <laughs> I'm on 75, so if I can get 15 SPP this game, oh, Elliot got 16, so Elliot was one one SPP behind me. <laughs> Elliot was one SPP behind me, and he got 16. Oh man, is tree leveled? Is dancer leveled? Is catcher leveled? Flip me. So yeah, I think this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Indeed, big Chichi. Indeed. Looks like we're in for the long haul with this one. <laughs> I might play some games of Marvel Snap on my phone. <laughs> The problem is, just Mighty Blow can just do a number on us still. Yes, he's very new. He should have been helped. He's, he's obviously new. He's got 10 assistant coaches. Somebody should have stopped him taking 10 assistant coaches, I think. Like, I think, you know, in a league like this... That's on the rest of the league to like, or the admins or whatever, like, to, you know, to help somebody who's going to pick 10 assistant coaches. Like, I don't know, I don't know. It's not my place, is it? But if I was running a league that welcomed new players, I would, uh... I would do my best to make sure they weren't completely butt-fucked.
Yeah, he's he's brand new. He failed to pick up. Alrighty then. We have to make sure with the witch butts. Fine with him. Oh no, dodge with him. Oh, baby, get the cars. Glorious. Glorious Rando cars. Maybe I could have GFI'd to tag that, uh, tag that gowl. This isn't great pressure, really, is it? Maybe I should have... Uh, GFI to tag the ball and then uh, tag the ghoul and then double GFI to pick it up or something. I don't know. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Glorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Actual blood bell, sir, I'll sub. But did someone say among us? <laughs> no, nobody said among us, but thank you very much, Sata. Um, no, literally nobody said among us. I, the, when I said among us, it was a long time ago. Oh, you motherfucker. And I said... I said oh, God, I'm just going to fucking retreat. Um, <laughs> I tagged admins. I need I need the admins to play for me to play Among Us. I'm not gonna play Among Us without the other admin. At least one other admin playing. That is that is my rules. Are <laughs> you killing off people in real life? <laughs> there you go. Oh shit! Oh. 
There's an asteroid M location which dragged my Cosmo away. Oh shit. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm a complete idiot. Why can't I retreat? It's not letting me retreat. Right. Did you fail the pickup? Amazing. End the turn for fuck's sake! Who wants the ball? Mighty End blow the guy wants the turn, ball. Man. This guy wants it. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. And go there. And there. No. There. We don't want him to get a hit. Him here. This ball doesn't want to get picked up, does it? I've got to run all the way around to get this hit. He's taken too long. He's he's new to Blood Bowl and he's taken a long time to play the turns. So I'm sorry that I can't be engaged. <laughs> it makes it re three minute turns when your opponent's taking maximum turn time are brutal. Absolutely brutal. I'm the best wizard, Jim. I am superior. It's just brutal. It's brutal, man. Like, it's brutal. It's bad enough, you know, playing Blood Bowl already is hard. Playing somebody taking two minutes a turn is hard. Playing somebody taking three minutes a turn is, is super hard, so... It's just easy to zone out, isn't it? I don't know I'm meant to be streaming this, but, um, oh. You know, what can I do? I just won this game on turn one in Marvel Snap. It was Sakaar. After this turn, put a card from each player's hand here, and I got Ultron. <laughs> I got Ultron in turn one. <laughs> and I've got Patriot and Mystique in my hand. <laughs> I'm playing I'm playing Marvel Snap. Make happy face. I mean I could be talking about all the strategies and everything, but there's nothing to talk about, is there? I've got the ball, I'm gonna score next turn. I'm gonna make my mighty blow hit. Oh, 
he, he must have uh, Killmonger. Enchantress. Uh. Uh, well, I lost on turn one. Then. Oh, I've got to block that. Oh, you made the dodge in. Guess I should have come one forward in case he I just didn't didn't think he was gonna hit the ball. Now oh, maybe I can chain him here. Maybe I can chain him. Here, can't I? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Oh, I've got a dodge! <gasps> I've got a dodge. Well, in that case, I might as well just dodge with this one. Instant one in nine. Nope. Phew. Can't believe I've used two rerolls on this, but never mind. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? It was alright. Good that I'd make a dodge. I'm surely there was a there was a way to do it without making a dodge there. But um, never mind. So yep, that's him on 16 now. So that's good. That was a, a correct player touchdown. As Kalon would say, correct. Um, he needs a completion. He needs touchdowns and completions. Really, it's better in the second half just to dacker, isn't it? And just make more completions than it is to try and score more touchdowns. Like, go for 3-0, I think. Go for two turnovers on your opponent's drive, and then just a dacker with plenty of completions on your drive. It's probably the best way to try and play this. Oh, Sans Slyker, yep, unbelievable. Unbelievable, but true. Actual Blood Bowl being played. Man, I'm getting wrecked in... I'm getting wrecked in a... Marvel Snap. Everyone seems to be playing the same deck. Everyone seems to be playing, like, the Control deck. The Control deck or Galactus. Is all anyone seems to be playing.
Yeah, Marvel Snap. No completion for him yet. <laughs> wow, he's just failing all the pickups. I mean, he's got sure hands and he's not picking up with sure hands, which is, you know, some would say, incorrect. Oh, did he GFI? I've been so diced this game. The funny thing is, <laughs> he's giving up, but I've been I've been pretty diced as well. again oh my god oh my god oh my god yeah I love the old snap yeah yeah too many blitzers don't know what you're on about PC it's a perfectly cromulent amount of blitzers Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Alerts turned off. Alerts turned off. No. Hello, PC, though. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 20 glorious minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Thank you very much. Amazing. Oh, I've done, the sentence makes sense now. <laughs> Thank you very much, PC. I mean, everyone hates dwarves, Sata. Everybody, everybody hates dwarves. At the end of the day, everybody hates dwarves. Everybody's right to hate dwarves. It is what it is.
Hmm. Well, nobody died. So that's good. Um... So annoying. This one here. Yeah. Diced. Shame everyone's activated. <laughs> Worst possible scatter. And roll the roll. And the stun. I've been, I've lost like so many games in a row, it's ridiculous. I'm back down to 70. I'm gonna have to make a Galactus deck or a, uh, or a control deck. Awesome uniform colours. What, the dark red? Mm. A bit, there's a splash of bright red, isn't there? I, I quite like it. It's my favourite Delph outfit, and obviously the logo's glorious. Hiff. I mean, everybody hates. I mean, everybody hates dwarves, right? Like everybody, even the people who use dwarves, hate dwarves. Which is why PC says he's an elf coach, right? <laughs> even dwarf coaches hate dwarves. <laughs> everybody hates dwarves. They're the absolute worst. They are the absolute worst thing about Blood Bowl. They really like. They probably are. Because when you think about it, like, the average, the average team plays about three games. And the average player isn't very good <laughs> at Blood Bowl. And wants his team to get better. And Dwarves are the single worst team for getting your team better. Because they're armor nine, and they've all got block. And they beat you up, and you can't remove their players, and you can't score against them, and they're just disgusting. So, they're definitely the least fun. 100% the least fun team. They are overpowered in redraft, but only in redraft. They're still strong in, like, not redraft, right? Because they just, they get, they're so, they get so many skills. They're still strong. Even, even in the ludicrousness of, uh, of Blood Bowl 3 right now, they're still strong. Yeah, that makes them harder to remove. Obviously, like, that, that doesn't affect them getting SPP, but um, it does make them hard to remove, for sure.
you can play games. You can play games in the stupid ladder, right? I mean, <laughs> what's he called? Artemis went 115-01 with dwarves, didn't he? <laughs> but like you know, they're, they're super TV efficient, right? So they can they can you can make them insanely TV efficient. You can have you can still have your stat freak runner, and then you can play the other strong teams and get like Griff or Morg or whatever. So, and you don't even need to make a monster team. You can just have a normal. You know, scumbag min max dwarf team with Morgan Griff, and that's that's totally fine. Oh man, powered me, powered me blocker, powered me blocker, diced again. A blockless dodge! <laughs> <laughs> the save as the ball can be is just stay where he is, to be honest. If he moves, the, the elves can go catch him. I mean, not the way I've been rolling, but... Artemis does like playing dwarves, yeah, but I mean, he doesn't like dwarves. He just likes winning games of football, doesn't he? He doesn't like playing dwarves. Oh god, right. So we push him out to there, then we blitz him. And that's it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got a blockless blitz him. I just hit him. I guess I'm just hit him flat. And that doesn't matter, does it? Still got two turns left to score, haven't I? Yeah. So Blitzer can maybe. That would be ideal if this Blitzer can score. All that lineman, so two players up here. Really unlikely though without re-rolls. <laughs> I feel like I'm never gonna roll some two pluses. Be like thirteen hundred ish, Steve. Pricey and Necromunda. Uh One, two, three, four, five, six. Shh, quick pass to him. Ha! 
so first things get these guys over to cover Dice Lord Jim. Pretty nice. And get the uh, touchdown on the desired target, hopefully. Because there is like a double screen, isn't there? There's dwarves in Necromunda, don't you mean aren't they squats in Necromunda? Or are they Fultons or whatever? Or are they squats? Iron Head Squat Prospectors. I had dwarves in uh, in more time. <laughs> they were so OP. So OP. I can't even say it. They were so OP. Oh my god. Oh my god. They were so OP. I played like I played. We played like a campaign in the shop, and uh, we play, We played. We played a campaign in the shop, and nobody got a magic item until like the final week or so right the final week or so i like so I, I don't remember how long it was but like 12 13 14 weeks and then you know then we then that's when we got them that's when we got them like uh we got a few um and then the next one i was dwarves and i got like i got a magic item like week two or something <laughs> and he was just stupid <laughs> it was so stupid, and then I just started getting magic items every week, and uh, and absolutely dominated. I even had the bow that would seek out dwarves. <laughs> there, was, there was a magic bow that seeked out dwarves. I just got all of the magic items. I just literally got every magic item because you know it, it take it took everyone else like twelve weeks to get a magic item, and and I just started getting them in week two. So I just had all the magic items. Yeah, so my guy, my guy, my guy had it because I thought, well, if I'm fighting somebody with a, with a, uh, with a, what's it called, hired, you know, mercs or whatever. Um, if somebody's got merc, a merc, um, dwarf, like they, I don't know what, I don't know what, they, well, there was a dwarf merc, I can't remember what he was. But like, there was an elf scout that I had on my dwarf team. <laughs> and there was a pit fighter or an ogre and stuff, he could have a few. Johan the Knife was a, one of the uh, special guys. Um, so I'm sure, I'm sure, yeah, hired sword, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be a hired gun, would it? Yeah, it'd be something like that. Yeah, you're a band of mercenaries, aren't you? So yeah, it'd be something like hired sword. Yeah, that sounds good. And so I'm sure there was a dwarf one. And there were just like other dwarf there were other dwarves in the campaign, right? 
there were other dwarf gangs in the campaign, so maybe. <laughs> there could be. So I just gave my guy a fucking bow. Like, he had a crossbow. He had a crossbow and a bow. <laughs> and this magical bow. <laughs> so that he could fire it. <laughs> on rare occasions. A bit like Daka. Daka's got his hand crossbow and a longbow. Just in case. Alright, so two two completions for him. There's the one on five, the one on five stayed out. Diced. So he's up to sixteen, that's good. He's on 8, so maybe he could go to 11. He could go from 3 to 6, I guess. Center so he can get the ball. No, yeah, it does. It does make happy face. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. So I could only use it if I was fighting somebody who had a dwarf hired sword or another gang of dwarves. But I would just have to. I would just have to not shoot it. I would have to shoot my crossbow. <laughs> so I just had. I just held this bow for most of the time, not being able to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I guess Pogla could. Uh, it's better for Flicky, right? Better for Flicky. Daka Daka tactically defended. The Daka makes PC offended. Daka, I will never two turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was. It, was, it wasn't useless because, like, it just meant that I had to have that under crossbow, right? Uh, but I, I, I just couldn't shoot it most of the time. <laughs> and it, you had like the all-seeing eye, so you could see through walls. That the bow shot through walls. That was its thing. It, you had like it could shoot through walls, but obviously you couldn't see things to shoot them unless you had the all-seeing eye. Um, so I had to have the all-seeing eye as well, which I got. And then I also had the armor that meant you could see... You, so you had armor so you could move through walls. So you needed the armor that meant you could move through walls. And... Uh, you had armor to let you move through walls. And... The eye to make you see through walls. And then you need the bow would let you shoot through walls as well. What do you do? Just get my completions.
Oh, I couldn't hide a touchdown, right? Still got my apple. Shit, I've got a GFI. Oh, diced! Comedy Mega. So, he needs to pass to him, who then scores. Which is three GFIs. <laughs> I guess as long as I make this competition, it's not bad. He's on three and a touchdown away. Would like to score though. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not, it's not like mega dicing or anything, right? He filled loads of pickups, and, uh, and he hasn't killed anyone, so it's uh, it's been pretty nice altogether. Diced. This is getting very tricky to score on the guy I want. <laughs> I messed up, right? I should have I should have had him here. I should have swapped these two around. That was a bad mistake. Like this is obviously a bit safer, but who cares about being a bit safer? I should have had 
Should have had the guy I wanted to score up here. A bit safer, doesn't matter when you're 2 0 up. I think the plan is going to be this guy makes double, double GFI to like screen the ball and then he gets the ball the next turn. Played to him somehow. I mean, assuming this guy gets 1D powered, which is a fairly safe assumption. No! Well, in that case, <laughs> blitzing through this guy looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, you're doing nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go there. Which means I need two on him and two on him. God, that was bound to happen. That was literally bound to happen. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <sighs> you might hit him. Hopefully, he doesn't only get his completion. <laughs> Guy or anything, does it? Maybe I should just start with the pass, get it done. I mean, it was still failed, but still, that was the most important thing, wasn't it? To get the pass. Get the pass, get the, guess the SP, get the SPPs.
this was a game of Blood Bowl, wasn't it? At least he doesn't look looks like he's not coming for the ball anyway, so that's good. So we can get the extra completion. Hopefully. If I can clear people with blocks. Like, I still want to make, like, I, want, I guess I could pass, then hand off, right? I could pass to this guy, then he could hand off. Like, clear this guy. Wow, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. So, clear these two. Blitz with that. This one blitzes, stands in here. He blocks and clears both of them. Oh, he's the fucking journeyman! Okay, I can do it over. I can clear this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, 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 okay. So blitz with him, yeah. Oh, no, it was a jump up. Shit. Oh, fucking dice. So then he's got a hand oh, so many tackles on this. I can 1D? I mean, I can't 1D with a long man. Oh, that was so annoying. Fuck me. I'm not like doing a long bomb with this guy. This guy has to get the completion. I could maybe just blitz him free. And then he makes the yeah okay puts him for and he makes the yeah. So this is the guy that has to get cleared somehow. One D from the loner potentially clears two from him. <laughs> so good at Blood Bowl. Oh, that's two threes. Okay, so we go like this. Yep. <laughs> All right, maximizing SPP. I love it. <laughs> oh, 
Thanks, Daedal. The only bad thing was the 5SPP guy uh, staying out from his KO, KO rolls. Two KO rolls and he stayed out. Um, I don't know, what can you do? Lyman on six. Mighty Blow got a sixteen. Uh, Lino got a sixteen. He's up to ten, which is okay, isn't it? He's on five, so he's in his completion. He's he can get the six next. So hopefully these little two will get the six next game. And then, uh, like the the linemen just need dodge, right, to be useful. And then, uh, and then I can start stacking on the blitz. I mean, this guy got five this game anyway, so I'm already like wanting to stack on the star players, which is the edge five and the mighty blow. So I've got my two projects. Obviously, quite like these two to go to sixteen. See if they get anything interesting as well. So just all the blitzes now are the. Other targets, just all four blitzers. It's just important to get the dodge on, on the linos. And then, like you know, this this one just randomly is on thirteen, right? I'm not going to go out my way to skill up linos. Just just go out my way to get the first skill. Dodge on the mighty, ju dodge on the mighty bow, because he just he just has to survive, right? He just has to be an elf. First and foremost, he's an elf, so he'll get dodge first. I need to get tackled for later. Yeah, I just don't care about getting them later. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather stack onto the onto the four good players, really. And five, maybe five, right? If the witch, which not as important. I'm actually okay with this witch elf dying and just having two wrestle witch elves. Uh, don't really care too much about the witch elf, unless she rolls like a double or a stat. He is very, very new King Boo. He is so new, in fact, that the admins, I want to say, from the era BB should have helped him with his team, as he has taken 10 assistant coaches. Yep. Not that I'm a toxic elitist or anything, I just think, like, you know, <laughs> I just think it's good to help new players sometimes. <laughs> and, yeah. Like, even now, like, you know, sacking them would help, would help his team. <laughs> Like I, I remember the last league that I uh, that I took part in in tabletop, and there was eight of us total, and one was brand new, and he wanted ogres, and I'm like, he was like a friend of a friend, so I said to my friend, try anything you can to convince him to not take ogres, right? And he he just didn't, and he's like, um, he's like, uh, yeah, because he just wanted to beat him, right? And there was another guy who was like running the league. And he just wanted to do it. So I'm like, this this guy, he's new, he's playing ogres, right? Let's make Snotling Strength 2, <laughs> right? <laughs> just for free. <laughs> just for free, make Snotling Strength 2 so that he's got half a chance, right? <laughs> and take take off Titchy, I think. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if they took off Titchy or whatever, but just definitely made, just let's make Snotling's Strength 2, right? Let's just do that. And... And he's like, you're just saying that because I'm playing him first and you don't want me to beat him. And it's like, oh my god, like, how are people, like, that much knobheads? Like, it, like, it, it actually helped him. And this guy was playing chaffs, right? So it helped him the most because he gained the least by getting three dice against Snotlings, right? Because he's already got block and tackle. So he doesn't even need three dice to, to, to take down the Snotlings. It's actually better for him <laughs> that they're strength two because it impacted everybody else more. You know, only getting two dice on them. Uh, 
without without block, right? Or tackle. And he had both. And he was he was fucking raging at it. And it turned out he was a complete dickhead and a cheat, so I just uh, I just made a, a new game. I made a new we played one ga- we played two games in that league and he cheated in both of them, so i just then made a new league without him. And uh, and funny enough the the ogre guy did actually win one game in the in the whole league. Um, and the guy he beat complained about getting diced for the entirety of the game. Which, you know, obviously he did get diced because he's against ogres and a new player. But, like, don't fucking ruin the entire fucking guy's experience. Like, it's just amazing how how much people are dickheads. It really is tragic. Oh, baby, 110k, glorious. Perf- oh. No, no, I thought he was the MVP then. I was like, for fuck's sake, I'll turn him down. Oh, the, the the lineman who got the went to the uh, went to the effort of getting the SPPs on got the MVP anyway. Classic. Seven completions, not bad. Not bad. Um, Eleven, twenty-three SPPs, good. Good. I should have really been trying harder. Yeah, he was unlucky with the pickups. He was super unlucky with the pickups. Um, and I was very lucky with the passes. <laughs> <laughs> Very lucky with the passes. Glorious. So yeah, I should have I should have been playing more for SPPs in the earlier games, really. But like in the early games, I didn't have any dodge and stuff, did I? So, uh, the first game was in the rain, so I couldn't really try much in the first game. And then the second game, I can't remember what happened. <laughs> Um, oh, it was just a hard game, right, against Orcs. That was just a hard game, scrambling to win. I still made six passes. <laughs> um, and then I got wrecked. And I got wrecked, so I couldn't really maximise SPP that game. And it was only from this game that I, that I thought, wait a minute, I have to I have to maximise SPPs. Um, I did a terrible job against Elliot because I didn't let him score. <laughs> Oh, piling on! I could. I got movement again. If I'd taken movement, he'd have been movement nine. Flip me, flip me. He could have been movement nine. Oh man. Oh god. Yes. Movement. Why? Why does this team just want movement? I don't have to pick it yet anyway, do I? I don't know who I'm against. Man, I wish I'd taken movement on him now. He could have been movement nine. Oh, God. God damn, he could have been movement nine. I guess I've got to take piling on just to beat Elliot, right? Like, that's the the, the prime objective of this team is to beat Elliot. So, so I thought movement eight would be okay for the one turn, right? But I thought mighty blow tackle, hitting him every turn with mighty blow tackle. Pretty important. But now if I can pom him every turn. <laughs> really nice. Well, there you go. 4 one, one. Glorious. Um, and uh, yeah, I might get the Blitz. I might get the Witch Elf. I might just save the money. I don't know. But probably get a Witch Elf because... I guess this guy wants 10 SPPs to get to Blodge. Um, I can see who, who I'm up against, can't I, next week. Sinister Thugs, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, Ogre's bye week, isn't it? No? Yeah, AI opponent. So this is the, uh, bye next week. And then Captain Crunch. Kemri's. Ugh. Yuck. Dist- disgusting Kemri's. I don't know how that influences my decision. But there you go. Yeah, I guess I've got to go POM now. I, I, I really thought getting a movement again, man. God, I wish I'd had a movement nine. A movement nine delve is like insanely, insanely good. I get a tackle POM, I'll be fine, but. Jump up tackle POM. <laughs> right. He's just got to get all of the SPPs now. There's literally. All of the SPPs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sad. The, the thing with the movement was, like, you really need the double movement, right? Like, 
I probably should have gone the movement though because I, I don't get that much value from Mighty Blow because I'm not hitting that much right with Dakaring. But the thing is, um, and the thing is, against Elliot, you know, I've just got to hit him with Mighty Blow every turn, haven't I? And hope that I dice him, basically. The plan versus Elliot is to hit him with Mighty Blow every turn and hope that I dice him. Whereas, I didn't know I was going to get the second movement. If I, know I, if I knew I was going to get to movement 9, then I would have probably... Uh, then I would have probably... Like, if I'd known... If I'd known I could have just taken movement, I would have taken the movement. Because movement 9, getting a getting a one really, you know, a significant one-turn threat would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Right, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.